Okay, we're at this three bedroomed property in the Ponty Preed area of South Wales. You can see we are just developing the property, so it's about two weeks away from being finished. We just laid a brand new uh, tarmac driveway, space for two cars, lovely front door. Look at the uh, look at the lion <laughs> on the front door. That's my favourite thing. We've got the living area. It's open plan downstairs, so here you can see we've got grey flooring. Everything's been painted neutrally. You've got the stairs up just to the right. Lovely big windows, letting in lots of sun. So here you'd probably put a couple of sofas, coffee table, TV stand. You can see the TV points just opposite where I'm looking at you now. Uh, so it's quite a good space uh, to come into. And then perhaps I'll swing the camera around a little bit and then you'll be able to see into the kitchen. And so this is a kitchen dining area, perhaps towards the left hand side of the beige tiled area, you could put your dining table. Then you've got the kitchen, which we're still fitting. So the oven's missing. Uh, but we will put that oven in there and then towards the end of the house you can see there's double patio doors leading to the garden we'll get to those in a minute oh here's another shot of the living space all right let's go and have a look at the kitchen so everything's beautifully clean we've got the breakfast bar on the right we've got the oven hob extractor fan on the left obviously the oven haven't hasn't yet been fitted tiled splashbacks really nice nice finish on this uh, woodwork top cream units lots of storage space and you can just see there in the distance we'll get to it in a moment but there's a separate utility area so already next to the sink you've seen there's enough space for um, you know under counter unit there's two more spaces here so you could put perhaps a washing machine here under counter fridge maybe a dishwasher maybe a tumble dryer patio doors to the outside which is great and then there's a downstairs bathroom in this property and that's how you get three good sized bedrooms upstairs. So you can see again in the bathroom, brand new white suite, really nice tiles on the floor and to the wall, neutrally decorated. Um, we've got a full size bath there with a shower overhead, uh, lovely chrome fittings, everything's brand new, new doors throughout, pretty much new, new, new. So you, if you like this property, you're gonna be the first one that's living there since, uh, since renovation. Okay, so there's a utility area that I mentioned just a moment ago. We'll go to the garden uh, separately, but first let's go upstairs and take a look at the three bedrooms. So again, everything upstairs, fully renovated, brand new grey carpets, neutrally decorated walls, brand new doors, and uh, new door furniture as well. So let's go into the front bedroom. This is probably the largest of the rooms. It's a really good size double, um, easily enough space for you know your bed, your chest of drawers, bedside tables. You could put a wardrobe in here, but I'm going to show you in a minute. You may not need to do that because that door right there is a separate walk-in wardrobe to this room. So that's a real benefit that if you don't choose to put a wardrobe in this room, actually you, you wouldn't lose that space because you've got a separate uh, small wardrobe. Well, say small. It's a walk-in wardrobe just off the the bedroom there so you know opens up a lot of space uh, certainly bigger than most wardrobes but obviously it's not a room you could sleep in or anything like that it's got its own window as well which is quite nice lots of storage in this bedroom okay let's go and have a look at bedroom two So bedroom two at the back, again, great size double bedroom, um, enough space in there for everything you need to put. The uh, the black holes you see in the chimney breasts, those will have white vent covers on. We need to uh, allow the room to ventilate, so they just haven't been fitted yet, but they will be filled. So again, the, uh, the carpet is the same throughout the property, so it's the grey carpet, neutrally decorated walls. We'll come back to the garden in a minute, the garden's really nice. Here's an uh, airing cupboard which you could use as a wardrobe on the left hand side and then on the right hand side we've got a quiet combi boiler that's uh, you know, a modern boiler that's providing heating hot water for the house. There you go, bedroom two. Let's go and have a look at the third bedroom. Now this third bedroom is smaller than the other two. This is definitely a single bedroom, not a double. 
But again, useful to have a third bedroom. You could use it as a child's bedroom, single bedroom, or maybe a home office space. We're going out the garden in a moment. Obviously, I do apologize for the builder's materials there. The garden's not yet finished, but you can see there's a really nice feature. It's tiered over three tiers. Um, and, and so it's actually a nice place to be. What we'll do is we'll go back out the house now through the front door, we'll walk around the path to the side and then I'll show you the garden. Here comes my <laughs> favorite thing of this house. Every house has a unique character to it. This one's got the lion in the door. All right, so we've just, uh, we're going around the side of the house, brand new paving, obviously you can see it's not been uh, fully fixed up yet, the side of the house. And we're at the back now, so you can see there's a small paved area where you access the you can access either from the side of the house or through the double patio doors, uh, which lead into the utility area that we saw before. So we're going up a tier now, and we're into space. Obviously, this hasn't yet been developed, um, but that'll look a lot neater than that by the time it's ready to rent. Should be ready to rent within uh, a week or two, I, th I think. And then as we go up to the uh, another tier, we'll see there's this lovely tree here. Uh, this is one of the favourite things that I like in this house. You can see we fenced the tiers off for safety, so that if it, there is a family with children living there, obviously there's no risk of your children running over the edge and hurting themselves. All right, apologies for getting my arm in the camera here. <laughs> and here's another beautiful tree with some lovely flowers. Uh, that just seem to be taking care of themselves. I'm not sure the builders have been watering them, but uh, they, they look in pretty good shape. So you can see then there's three tiers to the garden. So we're at the top tier right now, the middle one with the trees in, and then the bottom one uh, will be developed as well. I'll just go up the back here to give you a better idea of the view. Again, apologies for the builder's mess. I'll try not to show too much of that. Wow, look at the view over the valleys there. Obviously, we'll get it all cleared up, etc. But there's the garden, which I think is amazing. And then as you can see off in the distance, you can see the mountains and the valleys, which I think is a really nice view. 